Hello and welcome. In today's video I will be creating five cards using these layered stem sets and I will be creating one card for each stem set so you can see how to use these stems and how they will look like. And I will also be using some of these die sets and these two embossing folders. For my first card I will be using this stem set and I am starting by with the first stem which says 1A and I am inking the stem up using the lightest shade of the three colors I will be using for this image. And the first color is Momento Cantalop. Next I am using the stem which says 1B and I am positioning it over the first stamped impression and I am inking the second stem up with Momento Tangelo. Now I am lining up the third stem of this image which says 1C and I am using some Momento Ladybug. Now I will be stamping all the other three images of the stem set which are leaves and I show you what you can do when you only have two rates of the same color. I am using some Momento Peer Tart for the first layer and I am stamping the second layer as there would be the B stamps of each image also in Momento Peer Tart. And as you can see, the more you stamp over it over the previous color, the more intense it will get. So it will create also a darker shade. For the last layer I am using Momento Cottage Ivy. And after some fussy cutting the images look like this. And for my card I have created one flower, three of the larger leaves, two of the mid-side leaves and one small leaf. To create my panel I am using this embossing folder and I am only embossing the upper part. Then I am leaving out about 3 cm and then I am lining up the lower part again. Now I am scoring the edges of the spared out part and this will help me to draw a neat line using a black marker. From this stamp set I am using the sentiment wishing you a happy birthday and I am stamping the sentiment using some Momento Tuxedo Black. And now I can bring my card together, finding the right position and then I am adhering the rows using some double sided foam tape and the leaves I am adhering with some wet adhesive. To create a little more dimension I am bending the leaves a little bit up. And finally I am adding a leaf to the bottom of the card using some foam adhesive. And this is my first card. For my second card I will be using the stem set and I will be using the colors Rosebud, Lilac Poises and this Rose Gel Pen. And for the first layer I am using this gel pen and this is also an alternative because I don't have a light rose shade as an ink pad. For my second layer I am using Momento Rose Bud and I am stamping several times to get a nice crisp image and this is also because the first layer was a gel pen and the ink is not going well into the paper. 
and for the third layer I am using Momento Lilac Poises. For the leaves I am using Momento Peer Tart, Momento Cottage Ivy and for the second layer I am using an inexpensive marker. And here you can see the two different flower images and the leaf image from the stamp set and these are the images I have prepared for my card. For my panel I am cutting out the largest die from this die set using an index card. The largest die from this die set I am cutting out from some Miro cardstock to create my focal point card base I have colored in with the same gel pen I have used for the flowers. The corner of my card base I am punching using this corner punch. And now I can bring my card together using a fine tip bottle. I am applying some wet adhesive and I am adhering the panel to my card. Also using some wet adhesive I am adhering the Miro cardstock cut out to the card and now I am arranging my flowers and using some foam adhesive I am adhering the flowers and then I am adhering the leaves using some wet adhesive. Using the Happy Birthday die from this die set I have made a cutout from some Miro cardstock which I have adhered to another cutout from some cereal box to give it some more dimension and now I am adhering my sentiment to the card using some wet adhesive. And ready is my second card. For my third card I will be using the stamp set and I have already stamped the second layer using some cantaloupe and now I am stamping the third layer using some tangelo and here you can see how it looks like when you only use two colors and the third and the second layer stamp. And this is what the two flower images look like stamped in two colors, cantaloupe and tangelo. And here are the two images stamped in three colors and I have used Momento Dandelion and also cantaloupe and tangelo. The leaf images look like this and I have used also Peart Heart, Cottage Ivy and an inexpensive marker. And these are the images I will be using for my card. But first I am creating a frame using the largest die from this die set and I have cut out the die once from a black cardstock and twice from a cereal box and then I have adhered the three layers over each other using some wet adhesive to give it some more dimension and now I am adhering the frame to my card base. And I am ready to assemble my card using some double sided foam tape with different thickness as you can see here. I am arranging my bouquet. The centered flower is lifted up with the thicker foam tape and the second flower has the thinner foam tape only at the outer half as well as this smaller flower. The two other small flowers and the leaves will be adhered with some wet adhesive. For 
my sentiment I am using the same cutout uh, I have used in my previous card. And ready is my third card for today. For my fourth card I am using this stamp set and I have already stamped and cut out the two butterflies using uh, Momento Bahama Blue, Danube Blue and Black. Then I have cut out this squiggle die from some black cardstock twice. And I have cut out the die with love from this die set on a black cardstock as well. From this stamp set I have created some leaves to embellish the butterfly. And then I have colored the edges of my card base using some Momento Black Tuxedo. For my panel I am embossing an index card using this embossing folder. To assemble my card I am adhering the panel with some double sided tape to my card base. With some wet adhesive I am adhering the small butterfly to the bottom of my card and then I am adhering the sentiment with love above the butterfly and the embellishment I am also adhering using some wet adhesive and then I am adhering the butterfly on top of the embellishment using some foam adhesive. And ready is my fourth card for today. For my last card I am using this beautiful flamingo stamp set and this card is for those of you who don't have a die cutting machine. I am starting by putting the first layer in Momento Cantalop and I have stamped the first layer twice so I will get a bright and vibrant color. The second layer I am stamping in Rosebud and the third layer in Lilac Poises. Lining up the beak and stamping in Momento Black Tuxedo. And here I am lining up the legs and I am masking off the foot. So the flamingo will stand in the water. Next I am stamping a large water splash in Momento Bahama Blue. For the plants I am using the same green marker I have used before. To add a little more interest to the plants I am adding some details using a dark green marker. Then I am adding the mid-size water splash to the large uh, plant and the small water splash to the two small plants. And finally I am stamping the sentiment and I am stamping stand tall, I'll stand by you, masking off the word darling. Using the same rose gel pen I have used before, I have colored the edges of my card base and now I am adhering the panel using some double sided tape and ready is my last card for today. And here are the five cards of today's video. I hope you had fun and enjoyed today's video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And maybe you would like to check out on some other card making videos. And if you like, you can leave me a comment and tell me which card you like best. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.